Mr. Ian Moore was first abducted by aliens in the year 2001. Since that time, he has spent the better part of the decade splitting his time between the Vrang Vrang home world and his home on the Earth. Time and place are really an abstraction. I mean, what you do well in one place, you're likely to be able to do well any place. And that's kind of how I approached uh, entertaining the Vrang, excuse me. On the Earth, Mr. Moore has gained a certain amount of notoriety as a street performer, and as well, he has honed his skills in the world of the Vrang Vrang. Trial and error, I'd have to say, is the only way that you can really truly find out what is entertaining to uh, an alien consciousness. I mean, it's true of people in general, but here so more, more so, I would say. I mean, you could say, and a lot of people had said, uh, that my life as an artist on the earth was washed up. But I mean, here, I, I can't fail to be a success, you know what I mean? Uh, how many humans are there doing this sort of thing? seems to be one not only of adaptation but of inspiration. His success on the homeworld of his captors is unprecedented in the history of alien abduction. You know, a lot of the humans that I've met here on the Vrang Vrang home planet, um, you know, once they're abducted, they act as if their life is over. I mean, this is really just the first step, people. After the, after the initial uh, testing and such, well, you're free to do as you please here. There's no need to close yourself away from what's going on around you. I mean, a lot of the humans, they, they sort of ghettoize themselves. They hold themselves apart. Uh, helplessness and depression, and they're acting as if they think that uh, they're going to be rescued by, I don't know, space marines or some such. Um, me, I've always been one to, to just get out there and, and see what's going on, and I, I mean, I, I, I think this really has been uh, my finest hour, as it were. Really, I would have to say as much. I just, I feel bad for my, my fellow earthlings who, uh, they just wander around as if they don't know what they're, what, they, what they're capable of. That's all I can say. Thank you. Thank you for listening.
As many experts now agree that the current economic downturn affecting the planet Earth is in part due to a period of relative prosperity among the Vrang Vrang, if this is so, Mr. Ian Moore's survival tactic of learning to make the most of new audiences for his art seems almost like stunning brilliance. And yet, at what cost, as it seems to only amplify his progressive alienation from fellow humans on the earth and abroad?